Calcific tendonitis is one of the most painful conditions in the shoulder. It's caused by calcium being deposited in a tendinopathic tendon. The calcium can rest in the tendon for a long period of time without patients having any symptoms at all. But at some point, the body recognises this calcium as foreign and starts a reaction to break it down and remove it from the tendon. The cells that do this release chemicals to dissolve the calcium and these chemicals cause irritation and inflammation to the tendon and the subacromial bursa. The onset of symptoms can be sudden. Patients often wake from sleep with it and is quite severe. The treatment of calcific tendonitis depends on the severity of symptoms. If there is a sudden onset of severe pain, we often use a steroid injection into the subacromial bursa to calm down the inflammation in the bursa and the tendon and follow this with some gentle physiotherapy to strengthen and rebalance the rotator cuff. If symptoms persist, we can move on to an ultrasound-guided barbitage. During this procedure, a radiologist uses an ultrasound machine to locate the calcium in the tendon. They then use a needle to enter the tendon and the calcific deposit and try to aspirate any liquid calcium and flush out any solid calcium, thereby helping to speed the removal of the calcium from the tendon. This is followed by a steroid injection and physiotherapy. Patients often get good results from this and can often avoid surgery with this. In some cases, however, the calcium can persist even despite barbitage and cause ongoing irritation for patients. In that case, we use an operation called an arthroscopic excision of calcification. During this operation, we put a camera first into the shoulder joint to check that there's no problem inside the joint itself. We then move the camera into the subacromial space and clear out the bursa above the tendon. We use a probe to locate the calcium in the tendon and scratch the calcium deposit out from the tendon itself. We then use the wand to release the coracoacromial ligament off the acromion and shave any spur off the underside of the acromion, thus giving the tendon space to glide without irritation. This operation is often done as a day case with the patient awake under regional anesthesia. The patient goes home with a sling for 24 hours and after the nerve block wears off, the patient can use the arm straight away and physiotherapy is started soon after surgery and patients can expect to recover after three months of physiotherapy.